Hi there, this is Yunus, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to read CSV file into the C++ code. So to do that, as we did before with uh, offstream, we have to include the header file, which is the same, and it's called fstream. So to read the CSV file into the C++ code, what you have to do, compared to offstream, when you output a file, when you input a file, you have to write if stream. Then you have to give it a name. We'll name it my file. Then you have to write my file and you have to open your CSV file. So here's the requirement. To read the CSV file, you're supposed to already have a CSV file that is located in the same folder as your code. So in my case, next to my code, I have a CSV file that is called test.csv. So when I open my file, I have to write the exact same name, which is test.csv. So what we do next, we can, uh, we can, we have to write while my file dot good. This means while there is something in the file, keep reading it until you reach to the end. Then you can do see out. Uh, first, let's create a string, and we'll call it a line. And we're gonna we have to write get line. The name of the file, which is my file, comma, the name of the string, comma. And this part is crucial. You have to have a quotation mark and comma in between. So what this represents is read the text until you get to the comma, then stop and store that into this variable. Then when we go back again, the program will start reading after the comma and it will read until it reaches to the next comma so on so let's display the content of line and let's add end line so if we run this so it displays zero zero one one two four three nine and if we go to the file and if we open the actual file that we have As you can see, it displayed 00112439416 and so on. And uh, you can organize this uh, in your code, but I'm not going to do that because it's going to take some time. But that's pretty much it. And uh, in most cases, usually you have to close your file at the end of the program. So you can just write my file that close and just close the file. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching.